Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you how to be magic with some coloured creams. I'm going to show you how to turn a violet oil and a green cream into a pink emulsion. Don't think it can be done? Just watch this. And look, it's turned pink. Now you may be wondering why would I want to do this? Well, the biggest reason is your consumer and they are continuously needing more and more innovations to be impressed to try new products. Now this particular trick works especially well when you're creating a product that comes as two phases initially. You would have your oil phase with potentially oil soluble actives and your emulsion phase which could have water or oil soluble actives. And part of your story could be to tell that when you combine the two phases, you activate the actives for even better results. Now that's not lying because Actives, when they're delivered as part of a microemulsion, do tend to get better penetration. And if you can't get your cosmeceutical active to where it needs to be within the epidermis, you won't get its active effect. So creating an emulsion like this with visible mixing power helps the consumer see the active really is in a microemulsion for enhanced delivery and extra benefits in the skin. First, let's create that emulsion. Now I'm starting here with the water, so this is just the water measured out, and to this I'm going to add Sepi Plus 400. Now this particular material is important in this formula because it's a very effective polymeric emulsifier. If you are going to use a different material in its place, it should also be an effective polymeric emulsifier, otherwise you won't be able to stabilize the emulsion effectively especially when you mix the two phases on application. So if you do want to use another material, make sure it's as effective at polymeric emulsifying to enable you to create the magic color transformation. Now to this, I'm going to add some yellow and blue water soluble dyes to create my initial green colored emulsion. Now we stir. And to this we add the oil phase. Now I've already prepared and blended the oil phase ready for it to be added. Continue stirring until your homogeneous emulsion forms. Now you're ready to make that oil phase. Now this is where the trick comes in. Now what I have here is my pre-measured oil phase so far. So this has the Emo Smart and the Lanol in it. Now to this I am going to add some aerosol and this is going to help gel my oil phase. And this is simply so that I can create a product that is easy to disperse without running out of the hand. So it creates a gel. I've dispersed it by hand first because as you saw it was a very light powder so if I was to just add that while stirring I'd get a lot of dust in the air. So now I'm going to mix it properly. You will at this stage have created a beautiful, clear, oily gel. Now we're going to add the magic. The first thing I'm going to do is add some water soluble red. Now you can't really see this red 
you can see a slight pink tinge but the reason why you can't see much color from this red and this would normally give a really strong red to a formula is because it's water soluble but this is an oil mixture which means the red dye is very finely dispersed throughout the oil phase you can't actually see it properly for its true color because it's in oil if it was in water it would be a bright red but you can't see it and that's part of the trick of creating this emulsion so that when this particular phase gets blended with our large water phase from the emulsion the red will come out and when it's mixed with the green and the violet it produces that beautiful pink color so now we're going to disguise this pink tinge by adding some violet color but the violet color must be the oil soluble dye so that it disguises this and you'll see that the violet is seen very dramatically throughout the oil phase because it is oil soluble compared to this red which is water soluble so you can't really see it in this entirely oil phase. As you can see the oil soluble dye has very readily mixed with the oil continuous phase. The red dye can't be noticed now because it's trapped within that oil phase. Remember that the green emulsion has a high water content so that when you add the violet oily phase which contains that red dye and we mix them together the red dye moves into the water continuous phase and it can then be seen as that pink color. A fantastic way to emphasize the activity of your formula through visual impact is these changing color creams. I hope you've enjoyed today's presentation. Happy formulating!